Hi, it's Dot from DotsTrot.com, and tonight I am starting a project which is a um, working on some pulled pork. What I got here is a pork shoulder, it's about six and a half pounds, and I said I'm starting it tonight, and the reason why is I'm cooking it tomorrow. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to season the pork, wrap it up, and then we're going to just put it in, in the refrigerator and let it sit overnight and really let the, um, let the rub I made just really um, come together with the pork and just you know, really infuse it with flavor. Um, so here's what I have right now. I haven't mixed up my rub yet. I actually doubled the portion because I want to save a little bit. We make uh, pulled pork quite a bit and this is the um, combo that I've come up with that I really do like. Now it's really traditional in with barbecue to, especially pulled pork, to use brown sugar, but I'm low carb so I don't use sugar at all. Uh, so instead I had to come up with a combination that um, has no sugar it will taste great that's the key we found something that really did work for us so here's what I got in here I have um, uh, for a single serving size we're looking at a tablespoon of chili um, a tablespoon of paprika one teaspoon of smoked paprika which I absolutely love two teaspoons of garlic powder or salt if you have that two teaspoons of kosher salt a teaspoon of black pepper and one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And again, I doubled it because I wanted to keep a little extra. So all you do is you just mix that all up, make sure it gets all mixed together. This might make me sneeze because that pepper, I can smell it from here. Um, for the pork, what I'm gonna do, um, a lot of people will cut off the, um, the cap, the fat cap. Um, I'm low carb, I don't. That adds flavor, it's something you never would cut off. Also, it's gonna help in with the sauce I'm gonna um, create with the pulled pork. For, for the pulled pork, you infuse the, you combine the sauce and the fat that's gonna be at the bottom of um, my Dutch oven when I make this. So you don't wanna lose the cap at all. However, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut the cap, um, just do a little bit of slicing, and I'm going to make sure that rub gets all up in there. So what I do for the slicing is simple. I just do simple diagonal cuts. And you don't want to cut the skin, but you want to cut down to the skin because you definitely want, if you can see how I'm cutting it, you definitely want that flavor to get down in there, but you don't want the pork, to, the cap to come off. This is a really big, thick one. So I'm just doing some slices. Again, just to get it so I can get the flavor in there. You want to get it down to the meat. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spin it around and cut it the opposite way, sort of, and have like a, a diamond shaped pattern to the cuts. So now I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna angle it. But it's gonna taste so good when you do this. Okay, we got it. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead. I'm going to actually wash my hands because I'm going to put gloves on when I do the rub. My hands are a little bit wet, but that's okay. So now all you do here is you just literally, that's all you're doing. You're, putting, you're rubbing the rub right in there. You want to make sure it's in every single crevice. It's going to be delicious by doing it this way. Again, so you want to make sure you get into all the crevices as you're doing your rub. Doesn't look pretty, but that's okay because remember, I'm going to shred this thing. It'll be so tender that the meat is going to be falling off the bone. I'm going to get the sides too. So, there we go. It's got the pork. Now, what I'm going to do. I'm gonna go get my wrap and we'll start wrapping this up in just a few minutes and putting it in the fridge and letting it sit in there. I'm gonna wash my hands first. So I'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay, we're back. I have the pork on my saran wrap and all I'm gonna do is go ahead and just wrap it. I wanna seal it up nice and tight. It's gonna sit in the refrigerator overnight Again, it doesn't have to look pretty, you just want it wrapped really, really tight. You don't want any air coming out of this puppy. And then what you're gonna do is let this sit overnight. Um, 
24 hours is best. However, for us, it's probably going to be in there probably closer to like 18, 20 hours, and that'll be just fine. The flavor will be really, really nice and good. The longer it sits in there, obviously with the rub on it, the more flavor is going to get infused into that meat, and that's what you really want. So tomorrow at about 10 o'clock, this is going to go, or I should say about closer to 12, it's going to go in my Dutch oven, and it's it, it'll cook for possibly five to six hours. Uh, we had a little bit of a challenge with the shoulder. Uh, I unwrapped it. It looks great. It looks wonderful and it smells really good with that rub on it. So it really captured the flavor. However, because of the size, get him back there. You just want to eat it now, don't you? <laughs> um, we're going to put it in my Dutch oven and we're going to put it, pop it in the oven at 350 degrees for about six, seven hours roughly. Um, now, the challenge I have with my rub, with my pork, I should say, not the rub, is my cast iron, my Dutch oven is a little thin. Uh, not thin, but it's a little smaller than the size of my pork. Uh, the pork will fit in there, it's just it was so long, it's a little bit longer than, than what my Dutch oven will allow. So I cut it. Uh, the bone is over on this side, so I cut away from the bone. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just stack the pieces. Um, it'll fit in there when I stack it, how I place it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm adding some onions to the bottom of my Dutch oven. Now I do have some lard on in here. You should hear it crackle. Um, I just want to brown these a little bit. But I, I add these to the bottom, and what it's going to do, it, it gives a really nice sweet flavor for the pork, and it helps um, for when I'm adding, when I'm actually going to be doing the, um, the sauce. I'm going to be making a barbecue mustard sauce. Um, the fat will start cook, will start rendering from the pork. And when the pork is ready to go and I'm shredding it, I'm going to actually take the cast iron out of the oven. I'm going to have the, the pretty much the, the onions are going to be decimated. I'm going to add, and you're going to see some fat in there, but I'm going to add my uh, barbecue mustard sauce to it. And that's how I'm going to make my sauce. And I'll put all the shredded pork in there and just mix it all together. And it tastes wonderful. Sort of just move it around the onions. Again, just I just used two small onions because that's what I had available to me. I didn't run off to the store and buy like a, you know, a sweet onion. I just use basic cooking onions and I'll be fine. There's enough sugar in onions that you'll you'll get it, it'll render out and it'll definitely impact the flavor. But it's going to be a, a very good thing, very good tasting thing, which is why, you know, I don't have to add sugar in my sauce or to the rub because the onions are going to add a natural sweetness. So I'm going to put my large piece in. I do the skin, I do the pork side up, the uh, fat side up when I put them in. You can do them up or you can do them down. It's completely up to you. There we go. There. So now I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm gonna take the heat off. It's, wash my hands. I'm gonna put the lid on. And then we are gonna cook this puppy at 350 degrees. And we're just gonna let it go for about six hours. You really want the collagen to melt. Um, it's going to take that long because that's what's going to give it its, its nice softness. It's going to soften the meat up. If you just wait until the meat hits uh, its cooking temperature, what will happen is um, you take it out, the meat will be very tough. It won't be tender at all. But if you, if you let it cook for a long time at a low temperature, what happens, you want the uh, meat itself to get up to about 195, 200 degrees inside cooking temperature, that's when the collagen melts and it just becomes so soft, it'll start pulling away from the bone. Uh, it'll, it's easy to shred and it's absolutely the tastiest thing in the world when you do it that way. So there you go. Now I wanna put it in the oven. I'm actually gonna take this tray and put it down here. Cause you want it so sort of in the lower third. You don't want it really up that high. Now, we let the magic happen, and in about six hours, we'll take a peek at it and see how it's going. It should be done by then, I'm hoping. If not, I might let it go another hour or two. It is about six and three quarter pounds of meat. Um, so we'll come back in, a, in about six hours to take a look. I'm back, and it's time to check out the pork. I've already took a little peek, and that started falling off the bone real easily. So what I'm gonna do now, that's what it looks like. I'm gonna put my lid over here. But see, it just, very, very soft. I'm gonna get two forks. And you can see it's just, there's the bone, the meat's just coming right off of it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the meat out of here very gently. It's gonna be just falling apart though as I do this. 
Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to shred the meat. And again, I'm going to be shredding this a little more thoroughly. The onions really did caramelize at the bottom of this. You can see them right in there and they're all caramelized. That's all right. Where's the onion sticking to my, to some of my stuff? That one's a little too burnt for me. But what I'm gonna do here is for the fat, I'm gonna add in about a third of the cup of my barbecue sauce. Now let me get my wooden spoon. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna stir it all in. And I'm gonna get all the brown bits off the bottom. And I'm gonna put this on a, on a low heat on the stove top. And what this is gonna do is create a little bit more sauce. I'm using the fat with my sauce. I'm gonna put actually a little more barbecue sauce in there. This is going to become my mustard sauce that I'm going to put the pork back into and sort of mix it all together. So I'm going to put this back on the stove. And like I said, I'm going to turn on the heat. I really want to mix all this up. And you want to scrape all that, all those brown bits off. That's off flavor. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my forks and just start pulling the meat. See? How easy this just com comes apart because it's so soft, so tender. That's like a little piece of bark there. So you just go ahead, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and continue to chop all of this, and we'll be back when it's ready to put mix this in with the sauce. Hey, we're back, and as you can see, all the pork is shredded. I love it, it's very, very tender, it's very, very juicy, and it's got some nice bark in here. See right there, a little tough piece, but it just adds to the flavor and the texture of it. Now my sauce, what I did was, let me bring that over here, I took I took the heat down to zip. Basically what I did is I combined, I added a little bit more sauce, and I heated it up for about 15, 20 minutes. You can see how it thickened? I let it heat up to like basically take out a lot of the um, liquid in there to cook down the liquid. So what I'm going to do now, oh, it looks so good. It's the caramelized, caramelized onions taste great. I tried one of them. And what I'm going to do now is just add the pork back in. So here we go. Just going to add the pork back in. And what I'm going to do is toss the pork in the sauce. Now I'm going to add a little bit more pork. Be able to hopefully get the rest of it all in here. Oh, it looks so good and it smells amazing. This will keep for more than a week. Um, and then what I do is when you take it out of the refrigerator, I just add a little bit of sauce before heating it up. Uh, in the micro if you if you have a microwave we don't you can heat it up in a microwave add a little bit of sauce or just up on the stove top mix it in with the sauce as you're as you're heating it up um, let me go ahead and taste it now with the sauce added in mm. this is really wonderful it's very very it has a slight mustard taste of my sauce but the pork and, the, and the, the taste of the fat from the pork, which is what really gives food its flavor is the fat, just comes shining through. This really is an amazing piece of meat, and if I don't stop, I'm going to keep going. <laughs> but it's really simple to make a, um, a pulled pork in your kitchen, right in your oven. Uh, you don't have to have a grill to do it. It's real easy, a little bit time consuming, but it's definitely worth it. Uh, enjoy.